Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review. I know it's been a while, but uh, I had some stuff to deal with, had some guests, uh, had a wedding to go to, you know, things like that. But I decided uh, to retest uh, MCSoft's Anti-Malware version 5, again because it's out of beta. And this time, uh, I didn't change any of the settings or anything. It's just like... Uh, it comes from the factory so uh, we'll look, go to the configuration you can see everything you can go through it real quick and you can see it everything is just like uh, it comes when you install it nothing has been messed with okay so let's get to testing here I have some new links some are kind of older some are very new we'll see what it can do here Now the reason why you're seeing this here, this Windows 7 is not genuine, is because I uh, I don't register my vir uh, my virtual machine because I reinstall so many times to make sure that it's clean. There's no point, and I never use it for anything else other than testing. So that's what it is. All right, so let's try the first one here. Okay, I don't see anything from that one. Okay, that one's not working. That's good. It is operating. Guard status. Yeah, so it's let's see here. Yeah, it's right there. Okay, so here we go. Program tries to install invisibly. So we will block and quarantine. Okay, so that one's been found a Trojan. Okay. Oh, that one, uh, I think that one's working anymore. Or there's something wrong with that link, actually, because it's missing some things. That's okay, because I got some extra ones. That one's dead. Okay. Okay, don't see anything from that one. Well, it looks like I accidentally cut that other one out instead of uh, copying. Okay, here we go. Let's try to install invisibly. We'll block that. Even though some programs, I'm sure some programs will do that. You kind of—that's the behavior blocker in it. So you kind of have to go on a case-by-case -case basis. And the last one, which seems to be dead. Also. Okay, so I found some adware here. 
and it's trying to modify an auto run entry. More adware. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to download. Well, I'm going to first do a scan with A squared or anti malware, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to end up calling it A squared for a long time. So let's double check, make sure it's got all the newest updates. While that's doing that, I'll get Hitman Pro. Okay. We'll do a deep scan. We'll let that scan in the background. I'm going to download Hitman Pro. And I'm also, just for the hey of it, to give it a try, is I'm also going to download uh, Komodo Cloud Scanner just to see how that works. I haven't tested it yet on an infected machine. See if it finds any infections or anything like that. So I'm going to download Hitman Pro and Cloud Scanner, install those, and I'll be right back when uh, the scan here is uh, finished. So I'll see you in a second. All right, so the scan uh, finished here. And let's see what we got here. We got uh, some traces here from that uh, save now. You can see there's some things left over. Uh, there's some stuff left over in the registry. Some more of that save now stuff right there. We also have some things left over in temporary internet files right there, right there, and right there. And we also have uh, this uh, risk square that's in uh, more temp files. And the save now stuff still in temp files. So we will quarantine everything. All right, so everything should be taken care of. And now I'm gonna run Hitman Pro and see if that finds anything. And then I'll run Komodo Cloud Scanner just to see what, what it can do. And if I have some time, I'll do Malwarebytes too. So you know what, I'm actually gonna do Malwarebytes first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause the video and install Malwarebytes, run a scan, and come back after the scan is done. So I'll see you in a second. Okay, so I installed uh, Malwarebytes, gave it a scan, and it didn't find anything. So that's good. And now let's, get, let's go with uh, Hitman Pro here. <clears throat> Alright, so I'm going to let this scan, and I'm also going to open up Komodo and do a scan with this, and just see what this finds. And I'll be right back when these are done. See you in a second. Okay, so i um, finished scanning with Hitman Pro, and it uh, looks like there's some leftovers in uh, temporary internet files. Now, I don't know if these in, uh, did any damage or not. I doubt it, because I, if I remember right, I blocked some of these with the behavior blocker. But they're still there. And the interesting is, thing is, I did a deep scan with uh, A squared, and it didn't delete these, even though it has a signature for it right there. That's A squared signature, so that's kind of weird. It should These should be gone. Even from temporary internet files, they should be gone. But uh, it's got some unknown processes here, which more than likely is malware, but they're just very new because some of these had very, very low detection rates. Um, there's some more. But the good thing is that all these are at least in temporary internet files, so if you clean those out, they should be gone. And I did a scan with Komodo Cloud Scanner here, and it didn't find any malicious or suspicious files. Um, you know, I found some other things here temporary internet things which isn't that big of a deal found some registry things that need to be taken care of and uh, some junk files and you can see it found some uh, other things here like this this guy right here so uh, I'm gonna keep running Komodo Cloud Scanner every now and then just to see how it improves and uh, that's it for now. I'll let everybody go. I got one more review I'd like to do. I'm going to use these same links, and I'll talk to everybody later. Take care.